as you saw from my pri from my Prime Beast Hunters Shockwave review, Shockwave is my favorite Transformer. He's my favorite Decepticon. He's my favorite Transformer in general. He's evil Spock. It's amazing. About it's just amazing, and I love it. I love everything about this figure. The molding is impeccable. It's it, it, it's Shockwave. I'm in, I'm amazed by how incredible this guy is. Now, for those of you who are diehard, this needs to be as accurate to the toy as possible. Your biggest gripes are going to be, just like in Transformation, the legs. Dude's got some pretty blocky legs. They try to get the little swoop in by by adding this little bump right here. But for those of you who are, who like desperately need that swoop from the legs, this is something that's going to bug you. But honestly, that's really just a nitpick. I... It's something that I really don't think justifies saying you can't pick up this figure. Um, our paint job wise, as you can see, Shockwave is very, very purple with little to no paint apps at all. I plan on getting some stickers, just to, some Decepticon stickers, just to liven him up, him up a little bit. Probably gonna put one here and then one on his chest, right above his chest, right there. Just amazing looking. I mean, just take a look at that face. Look at that. This is where the real intricacy is. All those wires, what appears to be a spark chamber. And on top of that, it's really hard to see on camera, but the, what's it called? The frame has those little line rivets in it, just like the G1 toy did. It's not as many, but it has, and I love that little addition to it. It's just really nice. But the real kicker about this mode is just like with the gun mode the LED light you flick this switch on his arm and really bright gun LED but that is not the best part the best part is the head on the back of the head there's a tiny switch on the left on his left side you flick it up and you can't even see his head on screen anymore because it's that bright my gosh that is ridiculously bright. But it looks so friggin' good. And you could do so many poses with this guy. His articulation is insane. <clears throat> I know a lot of people are saying, like, the hose really hinders it. It doesn't really not at... To the point of not at all. I think it's just a nitpick for purists who say they wanted the hose underneath. Which, like I said, in this version... He comes with the extra arm where it with the extra forearm where the hose goes under the arm instead of over it. But overall, that's really just a minor nitpick for me. I still love how this looks. I know another problem people were having was um his hands because as you see, they're tr like on the obligatory product shots that we were given early on. They were they were solid color. They were not translucent. But this is this is more of a G1 toy homage when it comes to the hands. The G1 toy had translucent purple hands, and that's what they were doing with this one. And I gotta say, for translucent plastic, this is pretty damn good translucent plastic. Stick like these fingers, I feel have a be have a longer shelf life than the masterpiece <clears throat> than the masterpiece Soundwave's um, finger has, and. That's saying something. Here, let me just give you a good look. This is a much. This is much more for a G. This is much more for a G1 show accurate look. When I get the parts, I know I'm going to switch the translucent hand. I'm not entirely sure if I'm going to switch out this one because, from what I've heard, heard from other reviewers, the LED light in his arm does not work with the, with this one simply because look. It's so, It does. It won't. The lights. It doesn't matter how bright a light is, light doesn't go through a solid plastic piece. So I don't think that the light will work for this one. If it I'm gonna I'm obviously gonna try it, and if it does work, I'll put up an up an update video. And as for the extra hose arm, that is really split into a bunch of little parts, and that also comes with it. I'm not gonna do it because even though I guess that it's more at show accurate to have it go under it, I actually don't mind how this looks. I actually really like it. But that being said, let's just talk about articulation real quick. And my gosh, this is all you need to hear. If I can, oh wait, I mistransformed him. I did not fix that leg. Okay, now this is all you need to hear. My gosh, this guy has so many ratchet joints. He's got a ratchet joint right there. He does not have a ratchet joint there. But he has a ratchet joint right here. 
his that waist swivel in and out just awesomeness heads on a ball joint he can look up a little down side to side and then it's then as for his hand the pointer finger is articulated the middle finger is articulated at both the mid knuckle and at the knuckle the ring and pinky they are individually articulated at the first knuckle but they are fused together at the lower half of the finger so they kind of pull the star scream on him kinda okay when it comes to masterpiece transformers i actually don't own many i actually only own one official masterpiece transformer and that is my toys r us exclusive thundercracker and this is the only thing i can really compare quake wave to but you know what I really like this. I like how big he is compared to him. And from what I've heard, he's a little taller than Masterpiece Soundwave, and he's just as tall as MP10 Optimus Prime. And that is a size size skill that I really and like. And I gotta say, for a, for the first product that a company's made, this is something Takara has to be jealous of. This guy looks, feels, and just is Masterpiece quality plastic. Just overall, an amazing figure. I'm I'm rambling right now simply because I'm fat. I'm amazed by how great of a figure this is, and this is a figure that comes with no accessories and only come, comes with fixes. This is a figure that really comes with fixes. That's something that a lot of people can't say that they came with. It's an it's an amazing figure. I really cannot recommend him enough. However, price wise, lately he's been going a little steep. <clears throat> When you most the most online retailers, the only place you could get him was places like Captured Prey, and with t and with shipping and taxes, you were investing roughly about two hundred dollars in him. That's a lot. That's something you're paying for a Takara or a Masterpiece shipment. For <clears throat> I was really lucky, and I found this guy on eBay who sells the sells the third line Quake Wave, never out, never removed from the box with the hand fix and the arm and the forearm fix it's batteries included for with shipping around hundred and seventy dollars that I and he's still selling quake waves now so I'm in I'm gonna post a link to his eBay page down in the description simply because I love this figure so much and he's giving such a great deal on it that I have to say you have to go get him you're getting a brand new quake wave with all the fixes that people wanted in it, it d d stop watching this video stop watching the video go down to the link just just buy this guy already that's all I really have to say it's an amazing figure it is shockwave any anyway thanks for sticking with us and <clears> hey <throat> this has been you the chronobot i'll talk to you guys later wait wait just a second mister we can't close the show just yet why you forgot to tell them about all the things we're going to do for the channel uh, I, I, I well for one uh, gosh this is why this is why you guys called me in humans so highly illogical Okay, okay. Anyway, there's a bunch of new shows coming to the channel soon. Since I am now around, shall have my own show. A show about comics, love, life, and television shows. I shall be reviewing being the best and worst of Transformers comics, and at the same time questioning some of the choices made in the movies and series of Transformers. My god, I'm going to be digging through a lot of crap. And you... This guy over here, he'll be bringing back the playroom. And Lexitron's Masterpieces, Masterpieces will continue as, long, as well as our other reviews. Anything else? There will also be skits, comedy, laughter, all the logical things that you guys come to our channel for. And if you do not, I'll hunt you down. I will find you. And I will kill you. And yes, I know I sound like Liam Neeson. He's a boss. Go see Taken 2. Is that is that it? Yes, that's it. I right, turn off the channel now. I'm done talking to these humans. So illogical.